everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm so excited to have you back. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Thank you for the suggestions for the nails. I went yesterday to the same place I went the first time and I soaked those off myself so that I didn't have to sit in chair as long. And I just got like a nice pinky peach color. I just thought that would be pretty. So yeah, this is actually my natural nail. <laughs> which is just unheard of for me. My nails do not grow like this. So the having the powder is keeping them super strong. Heard a few different things from a few people. One of them is called IBD Builder and then putting shellac over top of that. The IBD Builder is like a hard gel that you put over top of the nail. You can do a couple of coats of it. I think you can even do it at home. Um, and then it's UV light activated, but I my UV light, I threw it away. It broke but I just got rid of it because um, it was making my fingers swell. So I was like, no more UV lights for me, I guess. So yeah, there's that. I just wanted to mention, I had a really good time too. I took one of those magic mind shots before I went and did that. And this is the second time I've done something that usually triggers an anxiety attack with me. And I didn't have an anxiety attack. And I was feeling so good that I actually just called the salon last minute and said, hey, can you fit me in? And they said, come on in in an hour. Just shopped around, bought something, grabbed a coffee. It was really nice. I voted, dropped my ballot off, and then I went and got my nails done. And I was just feeling like so confident and good that I was like, I can do this. And I didn't have even a remote, like inkling of anxiety. I'm gonna keep testing this. Maybe I should take what, like a shot of it and go to that thrift store over the bridge. Like maybe I can take the bridge. That would be amazing. <laughs> like if all it takes is just a little bit of um, ashwagandha and matcha and adaptogens, then sign me up. I'll take that every single time, but then I'll be really codependent. Like everywhere I go, I have to have my magic mind <laughs> or else I can't handle it. But like how wild is that, that that's, making me fine for all of these things. So, and one other thing real quick is I'm gonna stop not remembering what I have on my lips. So when you guys ask, I have no idea. And I have to sit there and go, I think I was wearing this. So this is like the fourth time that's happened that somebody has like asked me what lipstick I'm wearing. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> so anytime I have on a color, I think you guys are gonna like, I'll just say what it is real quick. Same as I do with my clothes. I just have to make sure I'm, I usually try to update you with my makeup, but sometimes I toss on a lipstick and I'm out the door. So I'll try to remember. Today I'm wearing Tom Ford and the color is called Velvet Cherry. And it's this really pretty Merlot color. I think it's very autumnal. And then I'm wearing the, it's very bougie uh, makeup today, you guys. The, oh, Bordeaux, <laughs> the Gucci pencil in Bordeaux. These two complement each other so nicely, but yeah, I wasn't intending on going for luxury only, but they matched so well. So that's what I have on my lips and I will try to remember all of the details so that I don't go. While I was waiting to get my nails done, I had a, um, some time to kill before my appointment and I really am trying to shop small and local for Christmas this year. I'm gonna make my best effort. I know that I already bought a Saks Fifth Avenue dog toy, but that's it, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to only do local small business purchases this year because I'm a small business and that would be really messed up of me to not support my own industry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that'd be so messed up. I also am gonna do a holiday gift guide. I think I wanna do that in a blog post, honestly. So I'm gonna try to find all the small businesses that have online web shops. So if you're not even around here, you can order it for shipping and um, you can buy some things from Tacoma and have them shipped. And I think the, the sooner I do that, the better so that you guys have plenty of time to receive these items. Um, so yeah, I'm working on it right now. I asked a few people on Instagram if they wanna share some things and also just had them share with me, everybody just share me links and you, if you have some small businesses you wanna shout out or have me include, let me know and I'll put them in my small business blog post. I think it would be really cool to share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on this month. So Compass Rose is mo mostly just gifts. I get my Swedish paper towels there, which are the reusable ones, and I did get a new one, so that's downstairs. But here's two things that I got 
and one's for me and one is for a Christmas present. So I'm already getting Christmas presents. Also at Compass Rose, they gift wrap and I had to, I had to cause it smelled so good. Don't tell my husband, he doesn't watch my videos. That would be so boring for him. <laughs> he lives with me, he hears it all. So nobody tell him, but every year I get him a fragrance and I try to switch it up. This year I'm going local and small and West Third brand. I actually have their Smoky Fig Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette, and, ooh, that was good. And I got my husband the smoked tobacco or tobacco. I can't, I can't see it now because it's wrapped, but it's the tobacco one and it smells so sexy. It's so like snuggle up to somebody and smell their neck. Like, ah. Uh. So I got another one because I was literally standing there going, ah. Uh. Like, <laughs> I was in the store just spraying. I apologize to the staff. I'm sorry I'm over here doing this, but I'm trying to decide one for me and then one for, as a gift. And so I went with this one. This is the Ver, Ver Vetiver. Ver Vetiver. <laughs> um, it smells good daily. Eau de Toilette, West Third brand. It smells like a clean showered person. Like it smells like you just put on, you just wash yourself with an amazing body wash and then like wrapped yourself in a freshly washed towel, like a freshly laundered towel or something like that. It just smells so clean. It's a very like romantic smell. I'm gonna really soak myself in it. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It just smells like clean soap almost, but not too soapy. A little musky too. That is a really long intro. I'm gonna shut up. We're actually gonna go downstairs and make some banana bread style muffins. I have two bananas that are very ripe. Today is a cozy day at home. We're just hanging here. And then this week we have a lot going on as per usual. So I'm gonna go look at my agenda and assess the week. But yeah, thanks for joining me in this little sit down shopping and nails update. <laughs> and yeah, we will uh, reconvene downstairs. I'm right here, Gus. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, I'm right here. Oh, he can't see or hear. I was messaging my stepmother-in-law that we're gonna have two dachshunds, two shih tzus, two havanese, and a partridge in a pear tree for Thanksgiving. <laughs> we're just gonna be here cozy. I'm gonna cook and we're gonna have these guys and a lot more dogs coming and it'll be fun. Good times. Um, Alexa, turn off the coffee maker. Okay. I got these smart plugs. So now I can operate my coffee maker from an app or just vocally and then also it turns lights off and on. They're amazing. I'll link those because those are handy, especially if you're one of those people that um, has a lot going on in your life and leaves your house thinking that you left the coffee maker on. I could turn it off with my phone. So it's been such a lifesaver. I can't even tell you how many times. I thought I've left it on and left. Today, or not today, but well, maybe today. Yeah, you know what, I can do this today. Um, I do wanna thrift a little bit though because I want a couple of new things for this table. I took all the Halloween decorations down and I want a new floral centerpiece. I love this dried flower arrangement, it's very autumnal, but I want it to be over there. So I want something new to kind of go in the center. I don't even know if it needs to be floral, honestly. It could be candles. Like there's all sorts of different things I can do. So I want to set this up for the rest of this month. It's just gonna be autumnal. So we're going harvest. Harvest is the theme of this table. So I kept some pumpkins. I'm gonna put some back in storage, but I've kept some pumpkins out. I've got this table runner that says fall family and friends. I have Christmas table runners. This will switch out in December, but for now, that's what we're doing. This week is setting up the, oh, <laughs> I keep finding Halloween decorations that just like somehow have escaped me. So it looks like I need to take down the skeletons and the creepy uh, cheesecloth, but yeah, we're gonna do this this uh, week at some point, maybe today.
finally leaving the house. The muffins or bundt cakes, the bundt cakes are officially cooling. <laughs> they look really good and they're really spongy and buoyant, which is a good sign that they're not gonna be really dry. Oh my gosh, the Christmas tree stands. They're setting up. I can't believe it's Christmas tree time. Heading to the thrift store to see if I can find anything for our uh, Thanksgiving harvest themed tablescape. I'm actually excited about the prospect of this because then that means every holiday season I get to do a Halloween themed table, a Thanksgiving themed table, a Christmas themed table, a spring table, and then a summer table. And that's officially like how many? Like six tables a year. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of tablescapes, but yeah, it'll be fun. So Lyle is home with little Gus Gus so that he doesn't have a panic attack. And uh, of course I park next to somebody who's in their car when I'm talking to myself on camera. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's go walk around the thrift store. I haven't been thrifting in a really long time because I've been really, really busy with everything else. So this is going to be therapeutic. Thrifting relaxes me. <laughs> so we're gonna go dive in. Are you gonna focus? I'm still getting used to daylight savings. It's like six o'clock and no, it's 4.58 and it feels like six o'clock. So it's just weird getting used to this. Um, here, I'm gonna let off my brake so nobody thinks I'm leaving. <sighs> I, it was one of those days where I was really in the mood to thrift and I always feel like I find a lot of stuff when I'm having a day like this. So I had to put so much stuff back. I just couldn't get everything. I'm starting to get a headache from my bangs being pulled back like this. My hair keeps falling down. <laughs> it's a mess. But I'm gonna go and get stuff to make a drizzle to put on top of those little bunt cakes, but I think a drizzle on top would be really nice. So I'm going to go see if I can find confectioner sugar at the local grocery and head home. So I'm going to show you guys what I got tomorrow when it's daylight. By the time I get home, it's going to probably be dark. Still drinking it, still loving it. Everything that I got is with the intent that it's going to be a January uh, table reset. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's just, let's just dive in. Here's the main thing that I got for the table that is gonna be kind of what everything is centered around because this picture, I could not love this more. I put it back. And I went, no, and like ran back to make sure it was still there because this rustic, rustic, rustic. Look at the inside. It's all like, it looks archaic. Is that the word? It looks ancient. I know it's not. It's probably from like the craft store, Hobby Lobby, but it was $7.99. Everything that I saw that I wanted was seven, was the pink sticker. And it was $7.99, almost everything that I wanted. And for me, $7.99 is like on the cusp of being just a little bit too expensive at a thrift store. That's where I'm like, you're getting close to 10 bucks. And if it's 10 bucks, it better be good. I bought it anyway, <laughs> because how amazing 
is this. It's got the soft felt bottom to it too, which I really like so it's not like hard on the surface, but this picture is everything. I'm really into that cement look, almost like what Kim Kardashian skim, is it called skims? What is her, skims home, is that what it is? I don't know what it is, I don't know. Um, but it's like all of her stuff looks like rocks. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the girl on TikTok who does the Card all, the all the Kardashians in one video, it's amazing. You have to go see her, she's so funny. And she did like a whole thing on Courtney talking to Kim about how it looks like just, I'm not gonna spend all that money on that rock. <laughs> So did anyone want to buy the Skin by Kim home accessories? Kim, I'm not paying $90 for a rock. Because <laughs> her trash cans are like cement squares. Anyway, I'm really getting off on a tangent, but this is, I'm just into cement and I'm into this like beat up old looking kind of vibe. So this is perfect for the centerpiece that we're gonna do, I've brought some stuff out to kind of play with. So this I saw. Do you see how beautiful this plate is? Look at this plate. It's so beautiful. My God, it's not a plate, it's a bowl. But this with a salad, doesn't this, I just, it makes me want to make a salad to put in here. It'd also be a really great soup bowl. I hope my husband doesn't break them. He's like a bowl in an actual China shop. Oh, and the bottom of it says Sango Splash China with a number on it, and I Googled it, and these are worth way more than what I paid. And you guys are gonna yell through the screen at me. You're gonna yell because there's matching coffee cups, which were beautiful, and matching smaller saucer plates, and I didn't get them. I know. But I did get the big plate version. <laughs> I just didn't need all of that. But yeah, those are really pretty. And I think they go with the rustic kind of vibe my table is gonna be. And then I just got, ooh, I forgot about this. <laughs> Look at this. So it almost seems like an unfinished clay little pot, but I thought this would just be something I can add to the table or Eventually I can put my q-tips in it or something, but it was only $1.99 and it was marked toys So somebody must have thought this was a toy, but it's just the most adorable little white ceramic The feel that I'm going for a little piece that I could add to the table I can use it as a bud vase too if I took the top off I could do like a little bud vase situation But I think the like nipple on the top is probably my favorite part about it So I wouldn't want to lose the top part Next thing I got was this, see, $7.99 pink tag. Why? $7.99 for a skirt? Doesn't that seem a little pricey? And then I'm the idiot who bought it, and it says it's an outfit, so this is only like half of it. <laughs> Where's my other piece? I still got it because it is a green terry cloth, almost material seeming, mini skirt. I love this, or like a pencil skirt. I don't know if it's mini but it's a pencil skirt with an elastic waist. And I just see, I would wear this all winter. Anyway, here is the final thing I got. Look at this wild crop top. It's like a bubbly waist, black and white checkered top. And I thought it was so ridiculous. And shirts and clothes that make me giggle are, I buy. I buy right away, because I'm like, you're funny. I get you. So I bought it and it was $5.99. I didn't get one thing with all the tags and all the discounts they had. Nothing I wanted was discounted. Do you hear him? He sounds like um, a Muppet. Glossy poo. I'm gonna be okay, buddy. You got your tundra coat on. You got your tundra coat. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go try this on. Maybe with the skirt, even though I don't think those would flatter each other very good. Very well. Very good. Anyway, and then we're gonna set the table. Okay, here is <laughs> what I'm calling the bubble shirt. It's different. It's kind of cool. I like it. I think it's weird and cool. I wouldn't wear it with jeans. I would probably wear this with like my leather pants or some just black like pencil leg pants. 
something like that. But yeah, I think it's cool. I don't know, it's kind of neat. Okay, so here is the green kind of sweater skirt and I really like it a lot. I think this is gonna be really cute to pair with various things this autumn winter season and it's so warm, it's really thick. But yeah, that's a good skirt. I wonder what the top looked like that went with it. But I think it'll look really good with various sweaters and leggings and boots. So just, you know, one of those colors that just looks good with so much stuff. And there we have our very clean, minimalist, simplistic Thanksgiving table setting. Ah, the sigh. <laughs> I am feeling this so much. Words cannot describe. <laughs> I love it so. What do you guys think? I love it. I love the way the bowls look. I was going to do a charger plate, but... I'm not sure, I don't have one that matches this. Maybe if I'm out and about and I see charger plates, I'll go for it, but I think it looks fine, honestly, without it. And then, I just, these bowls are just so beautiful. And I went with a very simple linen style napkin, and I already had this, I got this thrifting. And then I just made this little arrangement with various things I pulled out of other arrangements that I had around the house. I always have so much eucalyptus on hand. So I just really messed around with just all the extra things that I had. I think it might be time to take a photo with my table and post it on the gram. Because where else? You know? This one. This one. Did not let me sleep. He cried and then he whined and then he whined and then he cried. <laughs> he whined all day yesterday from 7 a.m. until about 4 p.m. Took about an hour nap, got up, paced and whined again. And then finally fell asleep, but then woke up at 2 a.m. And off and on every hour on the hour woke me up. And it's not because he's just whimpering, he's howling. There is medication that I give him that's supposed to keep him calm and it's not working. So I asked them the various things that we can give him to keep him like calm. The thing is, it's like I have all the sympathy for how he feels. He's not with his family and he's old and set in his ways and he's a dachshund. <laughs> Dachshunds are shadows of the humans that they attach themselves to and are very codependent on that and I'm aware of that. I'm not a dachshund expert, but I think I've got a good idea of their temperament and just their needs in general. And especially I've watched so many seniors, but I hate to see him stressed out and I hate to see me losing sleep. So something's gotta give because he's here for a month, you guys. A month <laughs> but this look is great and I like it I think it's really pretty what do you guys think my brows I've been lazy and just doing my brows really quick and not pushing them up and it makes such a difference when I push them up with glue first because look at that they're so much more bushy and pretty than the like powder brow like flat look you know what I mean I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but it just looks better when I do this I need to remember to take this extra step because it makes a world of difference in the fluffy brow game I am trying to do. But hopefully someday I'll just get microbladed and not have to do this all the time. When you forget, you turn on the camera and just get distracted by phone notifications. I'm wearing the green skirt, I like it. And some leggings with this leather vest, which I really like. I wore this last year and I liked the look of this buttoned all the way up, but I love this material. I've been seeing a lot of people that are like big in fashion um, wearing what looks like latex as a top. And you guys know I was obsessed with my latex Halloween costume as an outfit. And I did that reel where I was showing how you can wear it on a day to day. Where is that thing? I'm just really into like this latexy, faux leathery vibe on an outfit. So anyway, yeah. 
I'm gonna um, just do some things on my computer, make myself some breakfast. Here's my makeup, just a little matte smoky halo. And I'm going nowhere because I'm a prisoner of my own home of vomit and diarrhea and anxiety. Welcome to a much better day than yesterday. Uh, I ended up just writing yesterday off the books. I really was lacking sleep. Gus was on a four day, just full blown panic and was waking up all through the night howling and I didn't get much sleep the past four days. I've been getting grumpier and grumpier by the minute, but it was just a lot and Luckily, everybody was exhausted, so we all slept really well through the night. Otis, say hello to YouTube people. Let's block your phone number. <laughs> Otis, he's a regular. He's a regular. I've always been against like baby talk until me and my husband started doing it as a joke. <laughs> and now we do it. So it's almost like the joke has kind of become the joke is on us because now we do it. It's terrible. It's terrible. Whittle, what a witty. <laughs> like, it's really bad. Anyway, so we're all feeling much better today. We all got sleep. I just took like a 10 minute power nap um, because everybody was really quiet and I just shut my computer. I've been working on my computer nonstop this week. Shut my computer and just zonked for like 10 minutes until somebody barked and woke us all up. Anyway, I want to end this video on a good note. And the good note is, one of my favorite things to end on <laughs> something from the real real my addiction this has replaced any wine <laughs> that i may have enjoyed in my life now once a week i treat myself to something i this this frankly honestly is a moment that deserves <laughs> otis are you gonna help me celebrate it deserves a moment and deserves really beautiful music Oh, let's play some like epic music right now. Some like, oh my God, the time has come. We have been waiting for this moment for quite some time. I remember back when I lived in Portland, I had a friend who totally was into fashion and he dressed really nicely. And he's like a band tour person. And so one time, Beth Ditto from Gossip, he was house sitting and he like, don't tell her I said this. I can get him in trouble. He had me over at her house while she was on tour and I went to the bathroom and I just happened to accidentally stumble into her closet. I didn't go in her closet. I just like glanced and the amount of Louboutins. I felt, I felt like I wasn't allowed in there. Plus I wouldn't want that. So obviously very respectful. Did not put any of them on my foot, even though it was very tempting. But I said to him, mark my words, one day I will have my own pair of Christian Louboutins. And then eventually I'll know how to say it properly because I think it's Louboutin. Louboutin? Louboutin? The red bottoms are nearly scuffed off because these are used. <laughs> but I can't believe that this time has come in my life Oh, you can feel that they're different. You can feel. God, I want to make sure I'm saying it right. Louboutin. Many say Christian Louboutin or Louboutin, but the correct way to say the creator of the red bottom shoe's last name is Louboutin. Louboutin. I had gone thrifting. I was at the Goodwill, I believe, and there was a pair of Louboutins, and they were black heels, and they were in my size. So I grabbed them, but then when I had them on and I walked around in them, I was like, nope, <laughs> these are fake. <laughs> you could tell. They just didn't feel luxe. They didn't have the luxe feel, but I didn't really know at that time. I didn't, I didn't have a base of comparison of what like luxe shoes felt like. So in my mind, I was like, are these, are they? I put them on Instagram and a gal said, those are real. Those are real. Oh my God, you can get so much money for those. And I thought, no, cause Goodwill would have known what they had, but these are what I got. I've been holding them and I haven't said it yet. These are a pair of like beautiful, so soft, so milky, beautiful, ugh. I just want to erotically stroke this. <laughs> um, they're a beautiful pair, as you can see, of like a gladiator style ballet flat in very gorgeous nude tone that like is my skin tone. This is my color. Look at the red bottoms though. I wonder if you can get these like fixed. Whoever wore these loved them and that's okay. I don't know how so many people wear their stuff so gently and then they just sell them because they're like, I've gotten use out of that. 
and they're still not completely damaged because I get my hands on them for a few months and I've wrecked them. <laughs> I just feel like, look at this powwow of puppies. And everybody who has a pair, make sure that when they go upstairs, they kick their feet up really high so you can see the bottom of their shoes. Let's see if they fit. This is like the Cinderella moment. I got nines because you guys know I'm usually an eight, but in designer shoes, I've learned that I'm a nine pretty much because they're always so narrow. You hear that sound? That's the sound of my shoes fitting. <laughs> if these shoes, I mean, I don't have very wide feet, but I have terrible bunions and terrible crooked feet. I have my grandmother's feet. I have to get surgery. But these, the fact that these adjust gave me hope that I can make them custom fit me and that they'll work out. The true test though, you guys, is going to be standing in them. <laughs> but oh my God, they're beautiful. These are going to match so much stuff. And how cute are these going to look with leggings and cute little dresses? I can wear these year round. Oh, my mirror is still streaky. Look, look. Look at these gorgeous shoes. They fit. I have arrived. <laughs> this mirror needs cleaned too. There's Gussie Poo, Stress Case McGee. But yeah, here they are in a different mirror. Just because I wanted to see them in every various types of form that I can see them. I will put a um, like a link to all of the Louboutin, Louboutins on the Real Real that you guys can shop as well. This isn't sponsored by them or anything, but I'm affiliated. I just feel like this is very special. So I'm just really excited. You go, you go. You're allowed to go. You're allowed to go. Oh, Ooh, there you go, Bubba. Give him a little walkabout. This is all I've got going on other than just tons of stuff on my computer, which is lucky that I can do a lot of work from home. So that is what I have on the agenda for the rest of the day. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd much appreciate and subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys on the next one.